my YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Empathic Pisces here. Today I'm coming on to do a, a second reading on Lacambria tumor. She's 23 years old and she's missing from um, Albany, Georgia. I did a reading on her some days ago and um, I just wanted to do a couple of more spreads. Um, a lot of emotional, I felt a lot of emotional energy. Um, and I felt, I, I feel like she wanted to get a lot off her chest. And she wanted to express love. And wanted some forgiveness from her family. I feel like um, specifically to her mother. Um, now I want to say these readings are my own intuitive abilities, thoughts, feelings, what I see, what I feel, what I hear from spirit. Also what comes out in the cards, okay? These cannot be taken as facts until the facts come out. This is a way to show how spirit communicates, okay? Um, and what I'm going to do is I want to see what comes out of my star seed footsteps oracle deck this second time around. I do feel like um, this, this young girl has has been in some harmful situations, okay? And and I, I do feel that the family is concerned and kind of knows something's wrong. And I, I feel like there was some struggles, okay, with her and her family. Um, and just trying to look up some more information in regards to this young lady. I end up seeing that she was arrested earlier this year in May um, due to some violence, um, maybe been some domestically violent encounter with the family. Um, um, and... That makes sense with what some of the cards that came out. And I feel a lot of regret from her. Like she really wants forgiveness for whatever happened during that time. And then I know that justice card came out that could have picked up some of the, the court involvement with her. Um, I don't know whatever happened with that case or if it's still pending. Um, but... I also feel like it's, it's some people around her that are not positive influences, okay? I just want to see what comes out, Spirit. I want to connect with my Spirit. Just kind of want to see a feel for the energy. See what new energy may come out. Okay. Ooh, too many, too many, too many. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is, yeah. So the first three cards we have new job. This could be. Um, a reference to, I don't know if this girl was working or anything, or this could be, um, sometimes it just shows a building, a place of employment. I don't know if that was something she was looking at doing, or could it be picking up energy, past energy from where she did work, or this could be some type of message information from someone that she's around. 
um, that they're employed somewhere, going with someone. I don't know, this building. Oh, I don't know. I feel something about this building right here. This could be something surrounding businesses. Hmm. Okay. I'm getting something totally different now. This dependency card came out. And I, you know, I, I really do feel like this is something of of great significance in regards to her dis disappearance. And this is the walk away card. I feel like she did leave and disappear for a while due to some issues, okay? This could also be saying that she walked away, was trying to walk away from a situation, which I, I do feel like her just, um, sometimes when you have depression and you're, you're dealing with things and then you, you know, conflict, I feel like uh, trying to get away from conflict. There's some alcohol use drugs, some type of involvement and the reason why she's missing. And I feel like it could be the company, the people she was around. Someone knows. Someone in her friend circle or someone that was with her. She was with some people. I feel like that. And I feel like this someone is in connection with Either someone she was with that either sold drugs or was giving her drugs or this was maybe this, this was their form of employment. I also feel like she was engaging in some risky and res reckless behaviors due to her mental health, due to, you know, just the whole situation. I feel like with this, this court thing that I see, you know, so... I didn't say a lot of the words that I was getting from the first reading, just, just do out of not feeling comfortable um, and no disrespect to her, her family. But um, um, I, I, I heard words such as um, too much trouble, lost my rights, something about her losing her rights um, and that she was not ready. She loved her child, but she was not ready to be a mother, and that she made some bad choices. Um, I also heard that she, she did love her child. She loves her child. Um, and she's really young, and maybe she, I, I just feel like her reflecting on the choices and her, you know, engaging in, in, in stuff that she really shouldn't have been engaging in. And I think that caused conflicts with her family, which, you know, um, but she wants forgiveness. She wants forgiveness from her mother. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. I wanted to get that out. This is, this, I do these readings out of, out of love and out of, uh, just out of pure love and respect. And I, I want to honor what spirit is giving me, okay? Um, so I hope this, this doesn't offend anyone. <sighs> okay, spirit, thank you spirit. Anything else? Okay, we have financial struggles. And I, I, oh, I, hmm. Anything else? Okay, this is a lot of crazy. So, spiritual gifts. 
like I think I don't know if this card came back out before but I feel like a sense of her waking and opening up um, to some things so this third eye this is someone knows someone has some foresight um using your third eye okay this I here someone someone knows and saw an opportunity we have divine protection this is good this is meaning that she is protected by the angels you know whether this young lady is alive or whether she's passed over she's protected okay This witchcraft card, okay, this could be someone that was, you know, into the occult, divination work, spiritual work, um, doing rituals. I also feel like, I don't know, when I see this card sometimes, I get the word manipulation. Like, someone was using, using... I don't even know how to explain it. Not using their charm, but there's manip some things was manipulated with this this young lady. I don't I don't, you know, get like an abduction, but I feel like she was in a situation that was harmful. Um, but that she wasn't, she could have left, but she didn't because I think that she was so blinded. So by her, her depression, the, the drugs. Okay. And I felt like she was doing some things for, to get help for financial reasons. And I'm talking about, it could be engage with people that sell drugs i'm also picking up some sexual things okay and that came out in the first reading this wanted to come out again i'm going to put this back in here because um any other cards want to come out anger wanted to come out we have fear too this fear is new and this stagnation didn't come out before this is feeling stuck feeling like you stuck between in a hard place um between a rock and a hard place um knowing seeing no way out and i do feel like this was as a result of the things that was going on in her life, her decisions, those legal matters. Um, what's this anger? Something with this anger. This came out in the first reading. And I'm going to see what other cards. Oh. oh. This card wanted to come out. I'm not going to pull any more. One last. So, uh, same card, y'all. Okay, I'm not going to pull any more. This self love came out again. Low self esteem. She didn't feel good about some things in her life her choices she was depressed we, we know that so uh-oh we got some some cheaters we got this meditation this is the need for balance ground and stability so is there someone she was 
someone else involved in the situation. Someone got angry. Um, someone felt betrayed, like they were cheated on, um, cheated out of something. But with this, this is picking up a relationship vibe. life lessons this is karma this is karmic energy this is things from the past coming back okay and there's a lesson involved in it listen to your intuition she was getting a warning this is a warning okay um I just wanted to see what kind of came out this round. So we got some new energy and a lot of the same. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Um. I want to do a quick situational spread here. Hold on a second. Thank you, Spirit Team. I want to do a quick situational spread to see what comes out of my tarot deck. See some past, present energies. Thank you, Spirit Team. So show us the situation surrounding Cambria's disappearance. What do we need to know? Finish. These problems. Okay. Okay. Oof. So the first car in the present position is judgment. Um, this will be her energy now and her energy surrounding how she was the day, the last time she was seen, the day she could have went missing. This is a major arcana. Um, this is deep. This is being. This card gives me the feeling of being awakened. You see this angel here. This is the messenger angel. This is Gabriel, I think so. And you see, it's like judgment. They just like a major awakening happening. And with the judgment, it can be like a decision factory. 
and I, I feel like, I don't know, I get a, I get a stressful feeling from this energy of this judgment card. And this could, uh, yeah, so, this is like her also reflecting, self-evaluation and um, awakening, decisiveness, wanting a release, wanting to be forgiven. She was really evaluating her life. She was in a mindset of, of, of looking at things, looking at past decisions. We have the three of wands, which represents the problem. So you have the situation and this is this is the obstacle. So this is fire energy. You're you're making some type of move or choice or you know three of wands. You're looking out. So or either a decision was already made and you're looking for okay let, to see what's coming out of this decision. And with this being an obstacle for her, I feel like there's three. There's other people involved in this, but I feel like this is her struggling. I think this is her asking for help. But not going to the right people. And this is action, you know. Not going to the right people and maybe seeking out a way out, a resolution, but not in the in the right way. Not seeing hope, not seeing things coming through to help her with whatever this decision she was making or thinking about in her life or you're evaluating. She, she had trouble, a lack of patience, not trouble seeing things coming through. You know, it's just like a waiting to you. Fast energy. We got temperance. Hmm. It's a lot of major. So with this card, temperance, this is past energy coming coming in. Um, it's about balance, about patience, being patient with yourself. Um Doing things in, in moderation. You see this angel here is one foot in the water and one on, on earth. You, you got to have balance in life. And I, I do feel like that past energy is, is showing that she, she did have some stability. I don't know if she lived with her mother or family, but I, I feel like you know, um, she had some, some balance, some calmness, um, but I do feel like this can also be, be picking up on an imbalance, self-indulgence, excess, you know, it's not in reverse, but there's many meanings to this card. This was a struggle for her. To be to be balanced. Look at this. You have two angels right together. Using good judgment. So this is waiting the outcome from a decision. There was an issue with that. 
future position, we have the nine of pentacles. This is good energy. This is reaping the benefits. This, this is picking up some money, financial, you know, um, self-care, which the self-love came out, okay? This is female here. I do feel like this is stating she will be found. Okay, so this is a obstacle here across this judgment. The reason for this obstacle is this card, the moon. You got secrets, things hidden. Um, I don't know why I just heard the word alcoholism. I, I don't know. But this moon here. This is like you're going through the dark night of the soul. You're not really seeing a clear path, but the moon is lit a little bit. You could see enough to get through. So there were some things going on that she didn't talk about, that her mom, her family didn't know. Secrets. And, and with this moon... You know, it, it's tricky because the moon is, is represents delusions, you know, and sometimes it can just, you know, we, we can have our own mental delusions making things appear a certain way when they're really not. So three of wands is, is fire energy. This is about movement. And moving forward with whatever you had planned to do. And then you're looking out for help. This, to me, I feel like she was looking out for help from people that did not have her best interests. Because you got this moon card here. This is, this is, the moon energy can be very deceptive, okay? And that's what I'm getting here. Um... energy. I'm going to have to pick some, a couple clarifiers. I'm already almost 30 minutes in. I don't like to make these too long. So what is this outcome looking like? Um, mm, we got the six of wands. Recognition. Wow. So, the Six of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles kind of mirror each other. They go hand in hand. This is future energy, and this is energy that could be used towards um, the outcome. Nine of Pentacles is about self-care, taking the time out to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Um, and then you have the Six of Wands. It's about being recognized um, for your efforts. To me, these are pretty positive energies. I feel like this is saying that she's going to be found. Um, It's, it's, she's going to be fine. There's something with this recognition. It's multiple people in here. Although this is focusing on this person, but you got other people. Spectators, people that either looking for you support. I, I feel like it's going to come out. I do feel like she will be found alone, okay? But I do feel like there's other people that knows what happened that could have came forward. And I feel like that's going to come out. I, I hope it does, y'all. Um, I don't know what her sign is. 
but I'm seeing a lot of fire energy. Okay, let me pull a couple clarifiers. I don't want to make this too long, y'all. All right, I want to clarify the spirit on this judgment card. We got the Knight of Wands clarifier for this judgment card. Three of Wands. Why is this obstacle here? Three of Wands. That's seven. Yes. Oh, it's about choices. Choices. This moon card is the reason for the challenge spirit in regards to this moon. Wow. Oh, the last clarifier for temperance, I got temperance. So, this is her energy. We pass. It just talks about balance, peace, patience, moderation. And I feel like this is that's definitely something that she needed. She had it, but, you know, it was a struggle for her. Quickly. With the clarifier so and this is what i'm picking up so we have the judgment here and i told you this is about um self-evaluation decisions you're 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 looking at a, a choice you're you're looking at you're having a, a sense of re, um awakening so i have the Knight of Wands, okay. This is this is fire energy, it's quick energy. Um, and this is a male, it's a male energy, and along with this soul, it was a decision made. I, with whether she went with someone or is, this is someone she was around. So the Knights of Wands is like a, it's a energy of a male that could be um very ambitious um they also make quick decisions and see this card here shows some key words of the energy surrounding this card you see passion very passionate so i'm gonna just read some of this it's being hasty quick decisions ambition generosity a journey sexual adventures active 
uh, negotiators, competitors, those who love a challenge. Hmm. Quick decisions comes to mind here. And this could just be her energy too. I don't know if she's a fire sign, but I am, I don't know. I'm picking up a male involved in some type of way. And when I see, you know, that passionate energy, this could be someone she was, you know, romantically involved with or could not, but it could have been some of that going on. You know how it is. You don't have labels, but yeah. So there was some type of decision made. And then you got this three of wands with this seven of cups. A lot of options here, multiple possibilities, fantasy. Sometimes when, when you can have hallucinations, wishful thinking, it's a lot going on. There's a lot of choices. Her mind was clouded, okay? There's too much going on in her mind here. This is water energy. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like something was offered to her. Then with the moon, you have the world, a sense of success, achievement. This is like completion, accomplishment. She, she felt she wasn't able to, to accomplish what she needed to accomplish, what she, what she desired. This also represents travel. There was some delusions and fear with her accomplishing something. Um, she, oh, this is also, I feel like she was stuck because of these delusions, these things that was um, fears, anxiety that was keeping her from seeing her full potential here. Because I think it's because the people she was involved with, their intentions weren't in the right place. Now, this future energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles and you have heartbreak. Betrayal, loneliness, depression. This is future position. This is not looking good. I know I feel like she's going to be found, but uh, this is a loss here. And then we have the Six of Wands being recognized. And then we have the Fool, innocence, freedom. Sometimes you can be a little too naive with this Fool card. It's like you're just a free spirit, um, lack of commitment. Mm -hmm. There's a male energy involved. She's going to be found. Some other things is going to come out. Another person is going to be recognized as a, maybe a possible suspect or somebody that could have helped or was around her. Um. So that's the end of this. Definitely feel like there's bad company. Someone, someone else, someone knows what's going on with her. Pitchfork. I want to pull from this deck and then I'm going to end this reading. I'll have to come back with a location one. Oh, mm -hmm. spirit. So, right quick, we have the pitchfork, okay? And I will go over the meanings. We have bone, we have arrow, a lot of direction, moving forward. She's traveling, or she was traveling somewhere. Um, and I, I do feel like she's still in the state of Georgia, but I don't necessarily feel like she's in Albany. I don't. 
I get a G word, Jen, Jen, something. I'll have to come back to that, y'all, because I have to end this soon. But let's let's look at these energies here. I gotta get my meaning sheet out because these are newer cards. So with the ball. This is strong foundations. Having something to hide or tatterly, leaving something behind. Hmm. Ah, I just don't even like how that energy feels. Somebody's hiding something. I remember in the last reading that lion card came out, leaving something behind. They're going to find something in regards to her. Um, that's evidence of her not being here. I'm hoping that this young lady's alive. Um, I just don't, I don't get a good feeling with this. And we have this pitchfork here. Oh, rebellion, individualism, a violent uprising conflict. Y'all, this just, this, something happened to this young lady. There was some violence involved. I, I didn't get a good feeling from this card, how this pitchfork looks here. Something is going to be found of hers. It's going to let them know that something violent happened or um, there was some conflict. That's what this represents. And what this arrow is setting goals, success, sending messages may represent falling in love. There's some type of communication, some type of message. This is a, involves another person. And I'm not saying that, that, that somebody, you know, did something to her, but it looks like this is what these cards are representing the conflict. Something happening. Um, we got the anger card. We got the fear. Okay. Um. And this is involving a person that she could have been involved with. I want to end this. I'll come back for another update reading location-wise. I thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, peace and blessings to you all.